Hey there, TRW crew, Matt Vassallo here with the rhinestoneworld.com. So has a customer ever brought you a unique object or something that you thought, man, there's no way I can heat press that. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to turn down this job. Watch this video so I can show you how to think outside the box with your vinyl cutter and heat press to get those custom jobs. Okay, so this is the item that was brought in to us. It's a ball bucket for a baseball team. So they brought this in wanting something awesome like this customized on it. I looked at it when it was blank. I saw this opening here and I thought, okay, my first thought was to thread it through my interchangeable platens on my Hotronics heat press. Well, as soon as I tried to do that, there wasn't enough area here to be able to thread it. So I was, wasn't sure how I could do this. There was no real way the buckets rounded. I could have pushed it up against the top of the press and rounded a little bit, but basically I needed something flat in this area to be able to press it. So I'm gonna show you how I did that with an old Hotronics platen from one of the older presses and creating a pretty unique way thinking outside the box and how I pressed this awesome bag. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get our file prepared to send to the vinyl cutter over here so we can cut the file out of our Caesar Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl. Now what I'm gonna do is something a little unique. I'm gonna use a two colors of the heat transfer vinyls to give a three color look. So the way that I'm gonna design it in the TRW Design Wizard and the separations I'm gonna do, it's gonna use the black from the actual ball bucket as my black, then I'll use the white and the orange easy weed to give a three color look. It's gonna be pretty awesome, so let's show you how to do that in the software real quick. Okay, so we're over here at Corel Draw and we're using the TRW Design Wizard. And basically, I'm just gonna show you what I did. So the original design here, as you can see, had a full black background, then it had the orange here, then it had the white baseball here with the laces and everything else. So. What I did, and also had an actual white background here that I'll change blue so you can see. So when we went to pressing this design, what I didn't want to have to do is press three different colors. Let's say the blue right here was the white and then the black and then the orange. Now, it was no problem having the design set up like this right here. And you can see with this setup, I have the orange as one cut, the black as another cut, and then the white is just the actual shirt or bag showing through, okay? Well, the problem with that when I came to a white shirt is, or a dark shirt or a dark bag like we're using in the video here, is it would blend in like this, but then this black right here would look like this, okay? So that would be the black showing through. So, so it's not gonna look good at all. So what we had to do is we kind of had to reverse what we were doing and make this black area be our area that we were not going to cut make sense so that means once we have a black background on this design we're going to get this look right here so the white is one cut and i'll change it to a gray just so you can see it that's going to be one cut the orange is the second cut and then the black we're just using the actual material to give us the look of our third color so what that's gonna do, it's gonna save us a lot of time in cutting. It's gonna save us a lot of material cost-wise because we're only having to cut out two different vinyls and we don't have to cut out that black because we're using the material as that color. Okay, so we send the two files to the vinyl cutter and you can see our two cuts right here. So we have our orange, we have our white, and then the black is going to be showing through the design which is gonna look awesome. So let's see what it looks like put together. Now this is our final design right here. You can see how great it looks. We have our orange easy weed, our white easy weed, and then the black of the actual ball bucket is gonna be jumping through the middle there to give that awesome three color look. Now we get to the difficult part. The difficult part of this project is going to be customizing this ball bucket. So when I first looked at the ball bucket, I saw this big pocket. It's a great area to customize. So I thought I would just be able to feed it through my heat press with one of my interchangeable platens. Well, that didn't work because of the height underneath here. This area would not fit to be able to thread it on our heat press. So I'm trying to think of different ways. And the only real way I could think of that I came up with is I have 
one of my old platens here. So any type of hard flat surface that would fit. And what I did is I just inserted this actual platen into the bucket here. Okay, so now I have that platen pushed into here. So you can see I have a nice smooth flat surface here to work with to be able to press my design to get that even pressure and heat to the actual easy weed so it stays on this design. Now the next big question is, how do I press this with this auto clam heat press? So my first thought with that, again, not very difficult. I'm just gonna turn it like this right here, basically form my own area for the press to go to, and then I'm gonna press it right up against the platen. So basically, I kind of formed a platen at an angle there. So when the press comes down, it's gonna get that even pressure onto the design. Should turn out pretty cool. So let's go ahead and press this and see how everything turns out. So one thing that I did decide to do is use some of our thermal heat tape. That way we can get this applied to the actual bag here without having to worry about it moving too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my design right about here. I can feel the platens back there, everything's nice. Let's get the tape down there a little bit. Now I'm gonna turn my design here and try to get a nice even press on this actual design. So let's go ahead and press it here. Now I'm pressing with a little bit of force here just to get it down and get it good. Hopefully it gets that even pressure throughout it. So I'm gonna test it out here. Pull this up. Just make sure it all applied well. I need to make sure I got enough pressure. Probably need a little bit more pressure in that area right there. So I'm gonna come back for another couple seconds here. And let's bring this back up and check it again. So obviously our pressure isn't gonna be like a normal pressure, only for the fact of we don't really know how much pressure we're getting to it. But that right there looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? So let's go ahead and get our orange ready. Okay, so this part here is gonna get a little bit more difficult because we gotta line everything up perfectly. So let's go ahead and line the sting part of the design up right there. I'm just lining the letters of the sting up, make sure that looks good. And then once I think everything looks pretty good, I think it's all lined up pretty good, then what I'm gonna do is get my tape down here. So hopefully everything stays in place. That's looking nice there. Everything's looking pretty good there. Okay, so I just wanna make sure this design doesn't shift too much as I move my bag here. So I'm gonna move it very carefully here. And now I'm gonna come down with my press. Now I'm gonna use again, pretty good force right here. I'm gonna go about eight to 10 seconds this time because I wanna make sure to get the full recommended time and temperature on the second part of this press. So once I feel I'm pretty good there, let's see what we're looking like. It's looking pretty good. I'm loving it. Beautiful. And there we go. Check that out. Customized bag, looks perfect on the actual bag, but something we would have thought we could have never pressed before is now pressed perfect and we have a pretty awesome custom product to be able to show our customers. All right, so that's it. You can see our finished product we have right here and you can see how awesome this looks. Something we would have thought just looking at it, there's no way I can customize that. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to turn down that job, but again, thinking outside the box, thinking of doing something a little bit different than your typical way of doing it. And now you have a new customer for life because you just made them an awesome ball bucket for their team or league. So I hope you enjoyed this video on thinking outside the box with your heat press and vinyl cutter. If you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you all have a great day.